Hi, this is Jeremy here. Uh, I do have an experience to share, and it's uh, interesting. It's very similar to um, what was being shared here and uh, facing it with the idea of facing everything and, and be willing to go through all this. And I was singing the new you. Uh, this was last night. I was singing the new you, and it was like my view had opened up and I became very, very centered. I had this perceivable position to where it was almost like I was even out of my body. And there was a, I could see my body was something like a hollow type of shell. And at the very center of this body or the, this sort of center of my being was this sort of shining light. And I was sort of centering in this, but also being like objective to it. It was very interesting. And this impression in this kind of position rang very clear. It, it was like a, as a reminder, not only for myself, but for all the new friends that when we go through these experiences and, you know, we have these uh, ideas and, and we want to sort of take part in little projects or these, take these little risks, we have to remember not to agree to the fear of being tap lined. That we just have to sort of, how you say, like Dwayne said, you know, be willing to go through it to the death in a sense, you know, just be willing to go through the experience and take any kind of situation on, you know, for a benefit, you know, that we can get in there and share or bring things around in a beneficial way, but not carrying this fear of being tap lined or this idea about tap lining, because it's really not so how we might mentally configure it with the information that we've received through the books or through our own kind of creation. So this was just an interesting little experience and reminder for the new friends not to be sort of scared of this tap lining idea because again it's just an idea and creation so that's what i wanted to share thank you yeah that's great jeremy so yes we all go through this we all have our little agreements likes and dislikes and that's okay you know these are funny little things so once in a while we're going to have a candy bar and ice cream but we don't eat that every day do we so we deal with it we get through it it's all okay because it's all about awareness yeah, it's not about life or death or right or wrong or truth or, you know, belief, faith and all these things that we've come to know. These ideas they are all cute, but all life is awareness like the air we breathe. It's really that simple and the sun shining and it's to be recognized for what it is. This is the important part, not that you just know it and you have this idea that, oh, I know about the is and I know about the real guys but that there is an actual recognition there uh, along with an intent to be real with what life is uh, more so than just a physical body and learning to recognize the difference between the two. So yes, everything that we're sharing here is very, very important, very, very precious. Uh, and where else are you going to find it? And also those that are honorably uh, intentional uh, with the true reality all life is. So a lot of stories and rumors going around about us, but okay, whatever. Actually, in a way, they're advertising us because all the funniness eventually shows up. And then those that say and do funny things, they come wobbling back and whining and moaning that they want help because they didn't know what they were doing. And so again, they will try again, seen many come and go. So uh, we're okay, this is cool. So we get the big adventure and everybody can learn to clean themselves up and be okay. Yeah, so when you go out there and you work in the fields and you get all dirty, you can come home and take a bath, it's all okay. So you can think that the dirt is tap lines, but you can just wash it right off. You can learn to do that with your real awareness and see through all of it. So in the meantime, yeah, we're walking through the mud here, having to deal with this poison planet and all the silly stuff that's going on. And so this gives us something to do to let people know there's a better way to, uh, you know, do things. And uh, uh, while you're living here, uh, you know, have fun being creative. It's a benefit to all. So, yes, thank you, Jeremy. Okay, yeah, I do have a little experience to share a little update with the Alien Armada as I've seen it. Uh, I haven't had too many direct experiences. There were a few, uh, maybe a couple weeks ago now. But uh, since that point, this is the one that I have gotten. And it was very simple. I was here in the... Um, 
sorry about that. I was here in the consciousness uh, recreated house on the real side, and I started in the upstairs floor. Well, it was seemed as if I had I had like just closed my eyes to go to sleep or rest or whatever, and it was almost as if I had gotten out of my body and I went sort of to the left and and down the stairs. And again, I wasn't like how you say literally in that kind of out of body position, but it almost seemed something like that it was a very kind of fluid transition. And again, I went down the stairs and when I went down the stairs, I knew that I needed to go sort of to the backyard. And when I went into this backyard area, when I looked up at the sky, I saw this alien craft coming down. And it was one that I have seen in almost featuring in all of my alien armada experiences. It has, carries a very similar kind of style. It almost looks maybe like, um, it almost looks like a, how you say, kind of like if you look at the human brain it kind of has like that um kind of bulbous front part and then it kind of slants downward it almost carries a similar shape to that but again it was coming down and the idea was it was going to touch down in the ground and i knew this was taking place in the front yard and sort of like on all four sides of the house getting closer and closer to the ground level or the physical realm so that was just my little update experience to share thank you <laughs>